Hi folks, Richard Ash, Fullcraft Instruments. Today I'm going to show you how to install strap buttons on a mountain dulcimer. We're going to put a button here underneath the bottom of the head and a button here at the tail end of the instrument. Let's do the tail end of the instrument first. It's a little bit easier. I'm going to use a power drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit. I'm going to get a pilot hole for that one. I'm going to go in the center vertically and the center horizontally of this end cap. And some of the instruments have different shaped end caps. You kind of have to use your judgment what the center is. But I'm just going to hold it up in the air. And I've done enough of these. I'm not going to pre-mark it. I can, I can pretty much eyeball them at this point. But it'd probably be smart to actually take a ruler and measure out the center and mark it. So I'm putting that in there. And there I go. Just a little bit of a hole. It looks pretty centered. I have a 1 8 inch pilot hole. Now I'm going to take my strap button with a screw. I'm going to put my hand in there, get it started by hand. Now I'm going to take a Phillips head screwdriver bit and tighten it and push it in. One strap button done. Doesn't take long. Now I'm going to the other end of the instrument. This is a little bit harder because I'm putting it into a curve. Also a little bit harder because on many dulcimers, ours included, there's a mechanical fastener, a bolt that goes between the head and the head block. And well, as soon as I drill my pilot hole, I might well hit that bolt. If I do, I'm just going to stop drilling. And then when I put in the screw, it'll work its way around the bolt. I don't want to drill a hole in the bolt because that would kind of defeat the purpose of having a bolt. Eighth inch, eighth inch drill bit, I'm going to put in the pilot hole. Centered left and right is obvious. I'm going to go probably three quarters of an inch up from the back of the instrument. So I'm going to come three quarters of an inch down in this orientation. It's going to go right about there. Right, right as I was getting the bit towards the bottom of that hole, I could hear a <coughs> little grinding sound. I was hitting that, that mechanical, or that bolt that's in there, which is fine. I had my bit started, and my screw, my hole started, I'm good to go. Tighten it in a little bit by hand. Tighten it the rest of the way with the power driver, power drill. And strap button installed on both ends, ready to go. That's it, hope you enjoy the video.